Hi and welcome to a short introduction video about a FFT based additive synthesizer. Additive synthesis usually consists of various oscillators that are tuned to harmonics or partials of a sound that we wish to create. Once we have the fundamental and upper harmonics, we modulate the amplitude of partials and that is how we shape the timbre. That process can be quite laborious, especially if we wish to synthesize some non-harmonic sounds, so we decided to make an additive synth that would tune its oscillators according to the data output from the FFT analysis. Hence we have to load an audio sample into our audio engine and then follow the frequencies and amplitudes of first 20 senicidal components. In other words, we can resynthesize the recorded and sampled sound with 20 sine wave oscillators. Here we have already um, loaded the sample, that is uh, some female voice, and now we can uh, play it back if we press a certain note. Far from home. Is it thy what we hear now is already a resynthesized sound. Uh, from these 20 oscillators and uh, <coughs> here in the an analyzer section we can uh, define how quickly the frequency and amplitude of sinusoidal components are sampled now if we increase some uh, for instance, this is the. <coughs> uh, now we are increasing the uh, frequency, uh, the time interval when uh, frequency is sampled, and also we are increasing the ramp interval or the, the ramp time between sampled values. Also, we can increase the amplitude, sampling interval and ramp time. Now, if we go back to initial values, which, which are 1 milliseconds, we can find some other sections of the the voice, which might be more interesting for uh, resynthesis. So now we will take a spectral snapshot of this short section here by just uh, simply turning off the frequency analysis. Okay, now at the moment we have only amplitude uh, modulation going on, so we can apply this uh, this tuning uh, to be modulated by various uh, amplitudes, even we can bloat different samples. Um, <clears throat> and now the problem is that uh, there are many volume gaps, amplitude gaps in between and our sound is disappearing. So we can increase the sampling interval and also the ramp time of the amplitude modulation and that gives us now more steady sound or we can just choose an area which is more uh, steady uh, <coughs> now here what we have is uh, the amplitude factor for each um, partial so we can use only I don't know here we have second fourth seventh and tenth harmonic at the moment and then we can also uh, change the the frequency of uh, that uh, of all partials and uh, now we have uh, here we have in this section which is called frequency multiplication uh, all the values are set to one 
which means that all oscillators are tuned exactly at the frequencies that were given by the FFT engine so now we can increase this factor and that's how we can totally change the the spectrum now all these changes that we made can be also applied to any other part of the sound so if we turn on the frequency uh, analysis again see that Each uh, partial has also its own attack, decay, sustain and release settings. So with combination of all these and various other parameters that are available, we can create some interesting sounds.